So you Sagittarius know how to take a loss and make it into a win. Look, you have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, right? And even the Four of Cups. This is about you Sagittarius um, having someone that disrespected you, that wasted your time, told you that you pretty much wasn't worth anything, right? Or made you feel that way. And you Sagittarius realized it sucks, but you had to take a loss or take a lesson, I should say. And you, Sagittarius, went back to the drawing board and fixed certain things about yourself, realizing that you had to create a more healthy level of boundaries. So that's what it is that you, Sagittarius, did. You stopped associating yourself with the very same people, that a group of friends, um, people that you were romantically interested in, that social circle that uh, didn't really have respect for you. And now the Four of Cups, they respect you now, right? And also, anyone that's going to be allowed to come into your life for a long period of time is going to have to respect you. It's not just about them sitting around, you know, thinking that you you need to come to them taking you for granted. They have to actually come to you. And if they don't, then it is what it is. You don't care enough to continue to chase after them forever in a day. The devil and the king of swords, however, now represents... And a lot of people may look at you, Sagittarius, like you're a jerk now. But to be honest with you, it takes a little bit of you being a jerk, not too, too much, but a little bit of you being a jerk to finally start getting respect because people don't respect when you're a lot. A lot of times people don't respect when you're being kind, right? People respect it a lot of times, especially the ones who are delusional and mentally off their rocker and all over the place they respect you when you call them st a stupid mf that's when they begin to realize like oh okay oh okay that's that's when they kind of like woken up from their sleep because now it's it's like oh i didn't actually think that you had the guts to to call me that to my face right but you sagittarius have a streak about you where you will tell somebody and you will be brutally honest and that's what it is that you Sagittarius need to do. You need to be more of yourselves. You need to be a little bit more brutally honest when it comes to speaking to people in general, right? But especially the ones that wasted your time, played games with you, and don't provide any kind of value, don't provide any kind of service, no anything, right? It's always about you must serve them. So now that you Sagittarius have this newfound level of self-respect, that same social circle, right, that you used to mess with, right? Because maybe the people that you were romantically interested in also happened to be in your circle of friends. You just didn't necessarily tell that person or those people that you were romantically interested in them. But they disrespected you because maybe they have, maybe they knew that you liked them, but they never actually decided to make a move. Or maybe, you know, you know, they, they, they knew that and they decided to disrespect you, right? Um, either way, though, they're paying for it because you're not around. So that's the worst thing that you can ultimately do to somebody who's that s stupid is to leave them alone. So the two of wands represents and, and now you got a lot of people pretty much wondering what it is that you up to and why you're not around. And to be quite honest with you, Sagittarius is because of the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. You Sagittarius are very much so changing. You're, you're changing into people who are greater, better, more well-rounded, prepared for anything. And, and this is what it is I'm talking about in a lot of my videos. Not everybody can come. Not everybody can go. When you're on some self-improvement and you're chasing excellence, not everybody is going to be able to go with you because... A lot of people want to be in the same timeline, doing the same stuff, same timeline, same timeline, same thing, forever doing what it is that they're doing, never changing. But you Sagittarius, you want change. You obviously don't want to just live a mediocre life of living pay, uh, paycheck to paycheck, hand to mouth. So the justice now in the King of Cups, yeah, the justice in the King of Cups represents so you uh, Sagittarius have enough self-respect to actually decide to not just be about talking about like you want more, but actually taking action to actually have more. 
And you're realizing now, Sagittarius, that not everybody's going to be able to, to, to come with you. You know, that's what Nipsey Hussle was talking about when he said not everybody's going to be able to go. So let's clarify the justice. By the way, if you're finding value with this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. There's a link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it. It'll show you a drop down menu when you click on the link to the ways in which you can financially support me, whether it's coming through and getting personal readings, whether it's buying my books. And also, too, whenever it is that you buy my books, please make sure to, to uh, leave some good reviews if you if you actually liked it, <laughs> you know, give at least give it a four point five to a five star would really appreciate it if you did that way the book can help uh generate itself out to a, a bigger public so more people can actually see it so that they can get the help that they need because i'm trying to help you i'm trying to help people and not only that too but also um please make sure to get the hoodies right this is my own official kareem spirit works hoodie with the kareem spirit works stamp logo on it if it does not have this official stamp then it means that it's a fake um, cause all of my hoodies and t-shirts have Kareem Spare Works on it. <laughs> so that's the trademark. Okay. That's the trademark. And also, uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at, uh, Kareem Spare Works. Okay. Also the link to my uh, Instagram will be in the drop down menu in the link tree as well. Appreciate it. So let's clarify the justice. So to clarify, you have the hermit, the seven of pentacles, king of wands and then you have the seven of cups right because the hermit and the seven of pentacles represents you sagittarius are willing to do the hard work and the easy work when it comes to building something special with somebody it's just that why is it that those people are not really willing to build that with you you know because and, and it, it really goes to show you how much you sagittarius have grown while other people still remain stuck in an immature state because you Sagittarius are are you represent heaven Sagittarius represents heaven being on the right side of the tree along with Libra Taurus and Pisces so you know you you know obviously everybody would like something easy right would want to be in an easy relationship but you Sagittarius have grown and you realize that Yes, sometimes it's going to be hard work. The two of you are not going to be able to get along every single minute of the day, every single day, and that's okay. So the King of Wands and the Seven of Cups now is about you. But those people, you Sagittarius are able to be mature, but those people are not, right? And the ones that are not, you are staying away from them. But you're also, you Sagittarius are also glad that you are able to get away from the fake people because a lot of Sagittarius, I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of y'all be having some fake people around y'all that y'all keep around you that don't really put in any kind of work for you at all. But then at the same time, you just keep around because you feel like if you didn't have those people around, people wouldn't really want to hang out with you, which is completely untrue. 